<laughs> What's up? Oh, I was looking at the screen. What's up everyone, it's Joshua here. Tim Williams is next to me and this is Lumia Log 03. Today so, we're... <laughs> is this we're, even, that is working. Yeah. So part of the whole process is that we want to do everything right from the start. Uh, a nice clean slate, uh, including all our admin processes um, and the actual business structure. So uh, we've engaged um, uh, Greg Hay from HP HANA Accountants and uh, he's done an awesome job in setting us up you know legally um, in terms of our, um, our equal shares um, and in terms of registering our company uh, with the New Zealand mm. Companies Register Office. So if you're in New Zealand and you want to find a really smoking I was going to say smoking smoke hot, hot. Um, but no, it's just really uh, will help you grow your business. Uh, you can check him out in the website link below. You can put that text in there, right? Things that we have set up as Lumia to date. Settling on a name, man. That is probably the hardest, hardest part of starting up a company. Oh, um, how many weeks did we spend oh, just throwing man. names around? So Lumia is one of the first names that we came up with. Um, Lumia meaning uh, light. Well, it's a fr French translation for light. Mm -hmm. Uh, very applicable, I think, in terms of what we're offering in photo and video. Without light, you know, you, we can't have exposure, so we're reliant on light to capture an image. But it's also about us providing the digital content to bring exposure to other businesses. Um, so essentially, it's you know, shining a light onto other other businesses through the digital space. Obviously, choosing a name, we had to check that it was available through the, uh, you know, domains and social yeah. social links and like uh, the like. So we went down there, checked everything, and um, there were a couple of other sort of external Lumiers, maybe on the other side of the world somewhere, mm -hmm. um, that didn't have any sort of relevance or traction. So. Uh, hence why we sort of narrowed it down and went with Lumiere NZ or Lumiere.nz is on a, all our social social links. So we started to direct our energy into um, strategy and how we were actually going to grow this beast. Well, in all those conversations we're just trying to become more and more on the same page Yeah. Um, in terms of what we really want. The lifestyle was a big thing for us in terms mm. of, you know, did we want to be workaholics or did we want to actually you know, have time for our family. I think family is very much something that is important to both of us. So we wanted to be able to create a business that would actually give us the freedom to be with our families when we wanted it, but also give us the um, the uh, financial freedom, but also the um, the creative fulfillment in doing something that we're real passionate about. And that also might give us scope to be able to travel around as well. I guess we just want to maximize productivity and make sure that we're utilizing our time wisely, that when we are doing a task, we're focusing on that task, using all the tools available to do the task to the highest quality, but also the most efficiency as well. Mm. So. These were all parts of the early conversations. At this stage, we're probably on the same page. Yeah, so I really wanted to diversify and start up a swimming school as part of Lumiere, um, but it, it didn't fly with my um, business partner, so we mm. dropped that idea. Little we, Lumies? Little Lumies. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we doing now to grow the business? We're at the stage now where we've talked a whole heap about strategy, about vision, about where to, why, how, mm. And now it's just getting to the time where we need to execute. Really exciting, within the next week, we're gonna work with the first couple of brands. Yeah. Uh, we've got an awesome dude locally called Xavier Napoleon. Uh, he's a leather maker, so we're gonna be doing some content. You'll see more of that. Um, locally here in Nelson, we have um, a pretty well-known underwater photographer, Jose Cano. Uh, he's got built a studio up in, um, just sort of north of Nelson, so uh, we thought we'd you know, touch base with them and go um, build a bit of a relationship there. So we drove up to the studio and had a look around and um, they've got some really amazing facilities, world-class facilities mm. actually. It's the only purpose-built underwater photography studio in the whole of Australasia. Later down the track, we might actually do some, um, show you some content um, of that, that space that they have up there. At this stage where we're just starting out um, to have facilities like that at our fingertips, mm. when the time comes where we need to use other people, um, those relationships already exist, so yeah. that, that'd be really cool. Well, I hope that's been of some insight to, to all you guys, and um, if there's something in there that uh, you loved, um, feel free to let us know, or if you've got any questions, um, just drop us a, a question in the comment below, and we'll uh, do our best to field your answers. Peace out, Lumiere Log. 
03.